Um, we're going to have Fish Spider playing a Mono Time Nash deck. So a Mono Time deck that's running 6-drop Nash, which we will see right here, Nash Desert Prince. So at the start of your turn, play a 1-1 Arana with Killer, and then put each uh, unit with Flying on the bottom of its owner's deck on Summon, which is obviously quite strong. And besides that, lots of, like, ramp cards, kind of the traditional good stuff that you'll see from time, right? Lots of big, dumb idiots, game-ending threats, uh, ramp to get them there. So you got, like, Initiate and Journey Guide, Bizarre Trickster to Silence, a bunch of things, Devotee of Sands, Teacher of Humility, which is obviously awesome, Trailmaker. So all the different, like, ways to get power, ramp up fast. That kind of thing. And of course, as most time decks have in this singleton format, they have Arch Magister's Portal. And the other one that we have is Arzu on Ion Singleton. So, Xenon deck, also with Arch Magister's Portal. And a little bit more removal in this one, obviously. Twilight Hunt, Predator's Instinct, Annihilates, Defiles, all that kind of stuff. And we're going to hop on in to the decks. You can... Uh, into the decks. Into the games. You can see the decks by typing in deck lists. Or if you're watching this on YouTube later, you can go down below and see it there. We're going to go ahead and watch from Fish Spider's perspective. Let's... Ah, there we go, that's why. Alright. And there we go. Starting off right away. Fish Spider with an hammer and stinger in their opening hand, which is really strong. Setting up, getting all these power cards out. The big thing here is going to be if Arzu's removal is enough to stop Fish Spider. Because Fish Spider's got a lot of really powerful cards, but obviously there's not a lot of removal in this. Now Arzu, yeah, Arzu we saw before in the previous round, just having Defiles and Annihilates and Banish and all these kinds of cards to just rip apart the opponent's board and... It really left turn. the last opponent staggered. Like, they couldn't really get a game going because every unit they played got immediately killed. And we might see something similar here again. I think that's definitely going to be Arzu's strategy, is just play one or two threats and then keep on removing everything that Fish Spider does and stuff that disruption, that removal. Fish Spider, though, has their own removal. Ooh, is Arzu going to waste... I mean, not waste, but use another piece of removal here? Wow, and a good one, too. Getting rid of Desecrate to deal with the Scorpion Wasp. And it's... Focus interesting that you can counter Fish Spider's removal, but at the same time, now this Nash might trick. be undisturbed here, right? If Nash doesn't have an answer, that can definitely take over the game, even over top of something like Vara. We hunt Arzu, we with four cards in hand, though, opts to pass the turn. To me, that says that Arzu's got removal. Oh, and Arzu! Playing their hero. Here comes Ion. Both players have access to each other's lists, so I Fish Spider might have known that was happening. For every lock. And Damara steals a card. Was that... That looked like we got a look at it. That looked like a Xenon initiation, right? Interesting. You don't normally get to see the card. I wonder if that's a bug. It was really fast, but it looked like it flashed up a Xenon initiation. And still decent news here for Fish Spider. They've got this Nash. They get to take the Damara out really easily here. And glimpse can be a lot of card draw. Brutal, Probably trade find the way. Having the undepleted power source is probably nice. Yeah. 
Get Vital Arcana. And Moonstone Vanguard. So you can play the power card. Play the Moonstone, I think, right? You're a oh, maybe not. Did they already play the power? Oh, they played it off the top. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So, I mean, Fish Spider gets to crack in for six, but Vara plus Ion is enough of a squad to really stop Fish Spider from doing a whole lot with that Nash here. The big question is, yeah, Fish... Arzu's not even worried about Fish Spider's Nash. Just gonna t totally ignore it, gain a ton of life, kill off the teacher, and keep Vara around. Because Vara is just taking over the board. And it looks like we were right. We did get to see a little bit of that Xenon initiation. Fish Spider ramping. And yeah, going for Vital Arcana, I think, is the right move here. Moonstone Vanguard's cool, but it doesn't really answer anything on the board. Fish Spider needs to find something like Bizarre Trickster, and they did, so that's a really good hit for them. And if Fish Spider draws another power next turn, they can just go Bizarre Trickster and then, like, Silence, Silence. And sure, it's still a 6 6, but a lot of the problem is removed. If they're silenced. And you can also get rid of Makar here. Actually, you could just kill the Makar, Gather silence around, everything folks. else. That looks amazing. Enjoying the show? Enjoying the yeah, show? Yeah, and that's exactly what Fish Spider's gonna do. I think Arzu should still be aggressive here. They should just definitely be attacking into this Nash. If you can trade with Nash, that's probably a good thing. Or not. And gets to go to the market. In the market, there is an Ark of Soul, an Eviscerate, Grasping at Shadows, Xenon Temple, and Aramot's Machination. Nothing they can play right now. I would imagine that you get like a Xenon Temple here. Maybe Eviscerate just to kill this or the Nash. Spider gets to go for Horn, which is a big deal when you make an Arana every single turn. I've got to think that you you go and kill the yeah the Krenden Merchant there. You do not want to let Arzu have gone for a Temple and make it killer and get rid of the Nash because Nash is taking over this game. Ooh, I I do not like that attack at all. I really don't like that attack. <laughs> Oof. Arzu getting really aggressive and throwing away the Nash. And maybe doing that to try and get the Moonstone Vanguard in, but... Yikes. Yeah, now gets to kill Bizarre Trickster. And yeah, I, ugh, I don't really like that. Like, Fish Spider's now just sitting here with a ton of power. The World Bearer Behemoth was a really good top deck to get out of a bit of this, but... Arzu has five cards in hand and the Xenon Temple on board. And that is not a good situation for Fish Spider to be here. We've seen how much removal Arzu can be packing and Annihilate gets rid of this World Bear Behemoth and leaves Arzu miles ahead. Luckily, no. And 7-8 can go in. This is a tough decision for a fish spider. Because to get rid of Xenon Temple, you have to attack with more than one unit. So it means you have to throw away the Moonstone Vanguard. Which is what they decide to do. Oh no! Fish Spider hits Talir! That's actually huge! Oh my god. That could be enough to win it. We'll have to see what they get afterwards, but... And what removal Arzu has. That is a extremely threatening couple of units to Only play here. I can recreate what my brother built. The desert is far from barren. Gets all heat and clear. And Fish Spider just has a team of 7-7s. Seven Arzu's on a lot of life, though. 
And has the removal. Dizo's office to kill the clear. And then I imagine just sit back and wait again. The biggest problem that Arzu's having is just getting enough power to actually use all of their abilities right now. Probably put the merchant back on top. Yeah. And now this can't be killed by Arzu's squad. So we're just going to attack with that. I almost still like attacking with this World Bear Behemoth. Still on the market. There's Moondial. Ooh, Moondial is a really good one here. Honestly. With how much power Fish Spider has, Moondial gets them a lot of cards and can get them back on card parity with Arzu. Because the big issue here is that Fish Spider's been able to dump their hand out a lot faster, but once Listen, Arzu actually manages to get... Ooh, silence that. All right. The 7-8 is probably more important for Fish Spider right now. They need as much power as they can get. I'd honestly be willing to attack with the World Bear here. But that's the big thing for Fish Spider, is Fish Spider just hasn't had enough things to play out with all this extra ramp they have. And Moondial gives them that option. Attacking with both. That seems too aggressive to me, honestly. I mean, Arzu's at 39 life. They could realistically have taken most of this, if not all of it, and then just swung back for a ton of damage and put Fish Spider in a tough spot. Because it turns out Arzu's not going to go for that. They're going to do some more chump blocking and get rid of that World Bear. Oh, and a Zindel comes down. Surprised Fish Spider didn't play Dawn Walker. Another blocker would have helped a lot here. Would have prevented Arzu from drawing an extra card. And one of the scariest things here for Fish Spider is that Arzu is going to be able to draw a lot of non-power cards because Fish Spider has gotten most of the power out of their deck. You cannot put out the light. Blink, and you'll miss it. Ages. I almost don't like doing that as Fish Spider here. The reason being that there's going to be some guaranteed theft from the top of your deck. You really want to thin out power cards and let Arzu get more value. It's a tough spot to be in, though. A Zindel is a wild card. We hunt and thrive. And here comes even more theft. Oh, wow. Immediate killer. Gets to kill the 8-11. And now just attack the whole team, I imagine. No? Gonna be a little bit careful here. I was expecting at least, like, Ion and Gentle Grazer. I maybe the Stranger. I probably wouldn't have attacked the Zindel, but everything else for sure. The ground sings to me. Fish Spider really needs to find a way to silence this Zindel and fast. And it might be too late anyways. Killer can help, but it won't solve the problem entirely. And they also need to get rid of that Makar Stranger. Oof. Give Killer to that. Have to kill the Makar Stranger. But we hunt as a pack. With being at 12 life, I think that's the end for Fish Spider here. I'd be very surprised if it's not. They can block the seven. Five, five is going to deal one. And they take one second. Yeah, that's definitely looking like the game now. Oh, 
Arzu getting to wipe out the entire board from Fist Fighter and then just pack through for the win. Close game! Fish Spider was really stabilizing and starting to maximize that power usage, but a Zindel is just too strong. A Zindel stealing, like, six cards this game was more than enough to put it away. And a close round one, but it goes to Arzu. It's not the end of the match, though. Let's see if Fish Spider can take it back. So we're gonna watch from Arzu's side this time. I think that just sent me to Alesha. It did. That's okay. We'll wait here for a moment while we get Arzu ready. Angu is still showing us the last game watch for the spectator. Yeah, there we go. I got a little too excited. Soul's rest off the invoke was needed. I was thinking of Passage of Eons, but yeah, something that was able to hit a bunch of units at a time. Ooh, and Fish Spider starting out with a mall again. Not the best position to be in. And Arzu's got a fantastic start here. Two drop, three drop, four drop. Now with the silence as well to back it up. I call on the power of Saul. I know hidden paths. I might actually see Rectifier come down here in silence first. <laughs> keep Arzu off, or keep Fish Spider off of the ramp. I think that's better than just playing Iron. Nope. Arzu's gonna try and get the pressure instead. I like cutting Fish Spider off of power here. If it's a mulligan to six, I generally one serve. of the problems that could be happening is just not you enough power. The darkness. That being said, Arzu still has a commanding position right now. Maybe considering silencing Listen, the zero four? Yeah, that's not a bad move either. Like, obviously Fish Spider has been able to get to four power, so they're not super tight on power. And stopping the extra card draw basically keeps them on that mulligan. This looks like a great mold six for Fish Spider, though. Now getting Grodov's Burden. I like the Defile on the zero three, I think, personally. Defile, Strange Navigator. Could easily be a pass in Gentle Grazer, though. Alright, Arzu's gonna opt to just wait. My line is a very aggressive use of something like Defile, but I I just like keeping our Fish Spider off of power if they've got things like Grodov's Burden. Kinda need as much power as they can get. Ooh, Devour is a great hand. Listen and be able to reborn. silence this Moonstone Vanguard immediately that way. Honestly, just a fantastic hit there for Arzu. Arzu's problem could be power, though. They're stuck on four. Fish Spider's at six, and with Godov's Burden, they can essentially unmulligan themselves pretty quickly. Focus, child. Yeah, and use the burden. And there's the Nash. Ooh, wow, perfect. Yeah, Devour is one of those ones you don't necessarily want to hit off Gentle Grazer most of the time, but that was a perfect time for it. There we go. Arzu finding their power with the Sea Cancers. Still pretty stuck, able to go with the new Rebellion Merchant. I'm thinking... Oh boy. I mean, there's a lot of threats on Fish Spider's side right now, and killing things doesn't work out so well. Going for the Machinations. Hmm. And Machinations doesn't do a lot yet. Can buy back the Namara, so that's nice. But, 
Rodal's Burden Killer is a hell of a combo. We're about to see this whole team go away. Nash off of Grodov's Burden was very disgusting. And we're deciding to go with the 1-7 instead of doing something to kill Ion. This is fine. It does Safe let travels, Gentle Fraser get another activation here from Arzu if they desire. But yeah, Fish Spider with all this power and the Grodov's Burden is really starting to make some moves. Sabertooth Pride Leader. There's the hit that Arzu was hoping for. And with the file to get rid of another unit as well is just fantastic for them. We lurk in shadow. Strange Navigator hoping to pump up the machinations. The damage might have already been done though. Fish Spider got a lot of value out of that. We'll have to see if Fish Spider is able to get something like another Moonstone. Or a pit of Lenecta. Whoa. Speaking of game ending relics, Grodal's Burden's good. Pit of Lenecta is extremely terrifying. Arzu's gonna get some silence, wants to get rid of that Nash right away. It's time for the Mosh Pit. Nash was giving all of these, uh, <laughs> all the crowd to fill the pit. And now if you're a fish spider, I think you've just got to be willing to get in there real hard, throw away a lot of units, just because you're going to get a lot of life off of trades, and you're going to have all these 7-7s seven -seven to back things up. Yeah, so I like this aggressive line, just attacking in right away. You don't want to let Arzu have a chance to get back in the game, find another removal for the relic. Like, the problem is, though, we know that Dark Return is actually going to be able to get rid of the pit. So it's two seven sevens, but that's gonna be it for what Fish Spider gets out of it. Arzu finding this saber tooth was such an incredible hit for them. Time quickens. Yeah, and Arzu with just the initiate. Like Grodal's burden and pit were definitely taking over this game, but Sabertooth is, as usual, an incredible house. And now leaves Fish Spider with a big board, but ultimately not enough to really get through well here. Fish Spider is going to need something else. And we also know that, like, Ion's going to be coming up on ultimate. Uh, Strange Navigator's close to ultimate. It's a bad position for Fish Spider, honestly, despite how big their board is. I like this aggressiveness. Try and get rid of some of the units here that Arzu is going to be trying to buy back. It's going to be bad no matter what, though, because, I mean, some of these are going to get pulled back with Ion and with Strange Navigator. That's already kind of past, though, because General Grazer is already there, like, Rectifier Shade's already there. You're not going to be able to stop it entirely, so you've just got to try and pressure them fast. Waiting around and letting them get more value isn't helping either. It's just a rough spot for Fish Spider. Wow, Arzu killing the Rectifier instead of the Sabertooth. Listen and be reborn. Maybe you worried about it getting bought back again and killing off more relics? And now Arzu has enough for that stranger. I think first, though, we'll see Ion come in. There's nothing really worth silencing here. Key for every lock. Oh, maybe not. Stealing from the market instead. Fish Spider still has things like the Moon Dial, Horn of Plenty, Vital Arcana. Yeah, and there we go. Xenon Initiation as well. The Horn of Plenty definitely seems like the right choice against the big 7-7s. Seven the only reason that Arzu's losing right now. Ops not to silence anything. Find that interesting. Probably could have silenced at least the High Prophet of Soul. Because that is a problem. Arzu blocking with Ion. A 
bit surprised by that. If Arzu has a way to silence the strange navigator or remove it, they might have a way out of this game, but they need something that big right now. Yeah, and it's nothing. Ooh, and Travers farm too for Arzu. Strange Navigator is just an incredible card. Buys back three different units. Or sorry, is it? Oh, it's five? Oh my, I thought it was three. That's even more insane. Three is unreal. I can't believe that it was five. Sorry, I totally didn't realize that's how many it was. Because that just seemed so absurdly high. I don't know how Fish Spider gets out of this now. They need something very incredible. A way to buy back the Grodov's burden maybe would have helped. But they don't even have something like that main deck. They don't really have anything like that at all from what I can see from the deck list. Oh no, there's a turn back time, so they can buy it back. There's turn back time. Just trying to find it. But wow. And now Worthy Cause. What a great hit off of that Gentle Grazer. Fish Spider hardly has a board anymore, and Arzu with an incredible grip of cards. Yeah, I mean, Fragment is cool. This is going to be a fair bit of aggression here. Get to attack in with everything. But, I mean, maybe. It's a lot of damage. It's possible Fish Spider could actually bust through. Right. Yeah, three. And we'll have to see what life Fish Spider has left in their deck. They need something pretty incredible. An Ark of Soul killing their own Arana. Just trying to thin their deck a little bit more. But I imagine we see Arzu find Makara Stranger here and maybe steal off the top. Or Grodov's, yeah. We struggle and grow. Grodov's guarantees them more power hits, and that's all they need. They just need enough power to be able to play all these cards in their hand. Fish Spider just not able to deploy nearly as fast just as Arzu is now. Down. Doesn't have as much gas to deploy. And Arzu might be careful here. Nope, apparently not. I was thinking that Arzu might start holding, like, might stay holding back a bit. Because the only way that Fish Spider can win, I can see, is by having another, like, team pump. Maybe a way to bounce back a unit. And then swing all in. And there we go. Turnabout is fair play. Sabretooth. Ruining a little bit of the math for Arzu now on a combat. Luckily, staying out of the way of this defile here. And a smart block getting an extra unit onto that, too. Just in case that defile or something could kill one of the small ones. Like, a block with the 1-7 would have been bad without the Sabertooth. Because that could have been defiled. Fish Spider finds Mystic Ascendant. They've run through a lot of their power, so it's unfortunate they didn't have it for, like, Awaken the Ages earlier for four or five. Oh, but that's pretty good! 
some big idiots on the side of Fish Spider. Arzu does have the Rectifier, can immediately silence that to kill it. The fruits of paradise. And getting to go to the market for an Eviscerate can clean up the rest. But that does mean... Oh, silencing the 6-6 and, and not silencing the Ixtal. I think that's a big mistake there. Uh, could have gotten rid of both units. So I was going to say, now Arzu's relying on Fish Spider not hitting something insane. And the thing is, Strange Navigator is still sitting there. So in a turn or two, it's going to just buy back everything again. Grow off Stranger and all. But this might give Fish Spider a chance to bust through in a key turn. Arzu's still at a pretty low life total. Not attacking. I don't like that. One from many. I think that as bad as it is that there's this strange navigator and you know that you're kind of falling behind there, you need to be trying to pressure here as much as you can. Letting this just stick around forever isn't helping. Yeah. Huh. An attack with everything now. That's very interesting. Not sure what Fish Spider can have here to be doing this. I'm trying to look over their deck list and see what it would be. Because it would have to be something that fast. <laughs> Nothing, just throwing away the units. I mean, there's no board wipes. This is a mono time deck. So is Fish Spider just giving up? That might have been Fish Spider drawing even more power cards and getting out of this. I mean, the Fish Spider is still finding power cards at all is kind of wild. After how much they spin their deck. We struggle and grow. And it looks like Arzu's just managed to go over the top of Fish Spider here. Fish Spider just kind of flooding out and not having enough answers. Yeah, I think that Fish Spider had another power card there, which is absurd with how much power they've already had. And I mean, I know they've been ramping a lot, but the idea is also that you stop drawing power cards. Wow, and Fish Spider just you keeps doing it. And that's going to be the game. We a well played match from both, player, both players, but Arzu just able to go over the top of Fish Spider here with that relic removal, killing everything that Fish Spider had that was more important, and Fish Spider flooding out a little too much. Tough game for Fish Spider. But that'll be the end. And we have Arzu going on to round three, defeating their last two opponents now. And there's the concession. As I said, well played by both players. So we now have Fish Spider versus Arzu. Fish Spider losing in two games.